Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to our um, little presentation on Thesis Fest, re-engaging research students with their thesis. My name's Kitty Delaney. And my name is Jaya Ralph. First of all, we'd like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which Curtin, Perth is located, the Wadjuk people of the Noongar Nation. We pay our respects to their elders, past and present, and we'd like to recognise that this country has been a place of teaching, research and learning for tens of thousands of years. So, Thesis Fest, what is it? Every year at Curtin, the library runs an innovation competition for staff. The idea is that staff have an opportunity to pitch an innovative idea for the future. Back in 2020, the faculty librarians at Curtin presented an idea to run Thesis Fest. We pitched this as a research and wellbeing event for higher degree by research students. And after an all of library staff vote, our submission won. Our first thesis fest was held in 2021 and we started off with minimal funding. The faculty librarians put together a two day face to face conference program and despite minimal funds and COVID being ever present, thesis fest was pulled off and it was such a big hit that we're now running it for our third year in a row. We now receive funding from the Graduate Research School and support from the faculties. The aim of Thesis Fest is to help HDR students re-engage with their research to assist them in working towards final submission with confidence and success. We were very much aware of issues around completion rates for the university and Thesis Fest is designed to address these issues both from a research skills perspective but also from a wellbeing perspective. And it is our goal that by attending Thesis Fest, these students will get across the line to completion. <clears throat> the Curtin Thesis Fest team carefully designs a program to achieve this. In addition to expert presentations, Thesis Fest includes free lunches, Guild Cafe vouchers every day, fabulous door prizes, reflection times, networking posters, and much, much more. Along with the fun and camaraderie, Thesis Fest has become a safe space for students to share personal stories of not just their successes, but also their worries, their challenges and their struggles. These students are struggling with motivation, they are feeling disengaged from their thesis and they're needing help reconnecting with their research. They come to Thesis Fest to become re-motivated and re-engaged. We know as library staff that doing a PhD can be an incredibly lonely journey and this can impact on a student's progression. This is where we saw that there was a gap in support and we wanted to fill that gap. And so we provide our students the opportunity to see that they are not alone and that what they are experiencing is shared by others. This connection is one of the strengths of Thesis Fest and it's one of the reasons why it has become so successful. So what presentations do we offer at Thesis Fest? Well, we have an Ask a Professor Anything session, which is a panel of professors who share their own HDR journey and students have the opportunity to ask them anything at all. We also offer a Stories from the Valley of Despair session, which is a panel of recently graduated HDR students who discuss motivation, staying on track, and how to stay well during your research. We also have a Getting the Best from Your Supervisor Relationship presentation, which explores the challenges and opportunities of the supervisor relationship and what to do if things go wrong. We've also had the Whisperer Collective present at our previous Thesis Fest, such as the Thesis Whisperer, the Research Whisperer and the Wellbeing Whisperer. 
This year, we heard from Catherine Firth, who is also part of the Thesis Collective. So Thesis first, why hold it? I think Jaya has presented uh, quite a few good reasons as to why we hold it. But in addition, the faculty librarians at Curtin are part of the research and copyright team. And as part of that team, we are very focused on providing support to academics and research students, namely the HDR students. We are active members of various committees, such as individual faculty graduate studies committees and the faculty research committees. Through participation in these uh, committees and speaking with our HDR students, as well as, as really researching the needs of the HDR student, the faculty librarians noted that if HDR students were to be retained and continue through to completion, there was a need for an innovative and integrated program to address some of the issues and to reach out and connect with these at-risk students. Our first thesis fest was open only for at-risk students, but subsequently we made the event open to all HDR students. When our students register for the event, we asked them why they would like to attend. And the responses since 2021 have consistently highlighted the following reasons. The supervisor-student relationships, motivation, mental health and stress issues, competing life priorities, and as Jaya said, the terrible isolation that they feel on their journey. We did our research and information from a Curtin HDR engagement survey conducted by the Postgraduate Student Committee in 2020 informed the team of some disturbing HDR statistics. The survey found that 16% had taken official action to disengage from their research and 29% of students were at high risk for disengaging without formal communication. When we asked students what they wanted uh, from Thesis Fest in 2023, we found that 28% of responses were about meeting other HDR students and networking, and 13% of responses were about lacking motivation and being disengaged. So the programs that Jaya has discussed really, um, they really resonate with our HDR students. And this event has become a perfect example of the library partnering with Curtin University to meet the strategic objectives of focusing on student wellbeing, the learning experience, and the goal of attracting and retaining a diverse student community. So, how do we get there? As you can imagine, Thesis Fest takes a lot of planning and we start planning the next one right off the bat of the current one. Last year, we had one presenter who, as she was leaving Thesis Fest, asked if she could come back this year, and she did. The committee members bring their collective expertise in providing research support to researchers and research students to the planning of this event. All of the committee members are passionate about supporting HDR students and making sure that they are successful and able to continue their study through to completion. Together, they are able to develop an event that was unique, innovative and compassionate. We're lucky in that we have access to a wealth of experts at Curtin who are able to speak at Thesis Fest. However, we do also aim to cast our net wide across Australia to capture the most relevant and experienced speakers in the fields. This year, we have presenters not only from Perth, Adelaide and Melbourne, but also from India and Canada. We take the feedback we receive from students each year at Thesis Fest very seriously. We ensure that we carefully consider suggestions for improvements, as well as requests for encores. We also report back to the faculties about Thesis Fest. During the registration process, we ask our HDR students their reasons for wanting to attend Thesis Fest and what they hope to learn at Thesis Fest. 
This contextual information is extremely useful to our faculty graduate studies committees, and so we share an overview of this with them. So what is the uh, impact of Thesis Fest? We were very conscious from the beginning of uh, starting Thesis Fest that we had to demonstrate that this uh, event had a, a big impact, that it was worth putting in all the financial and time commitments that the, um, the library does. If it doesn't have an impact, it's not worth doing. That's why throughout the process we are collecting feedback from our students. Uh, we collect feedback at the registration, um, feedback during the event, and we ask for feedback afterwards, as Jay explained. What it has demonstrated is that the library and the university has developed a real partnership. And this is uh, evidenced by the fact that we didn't even have to ask for funding from our Graduate School of Research. Academics are continuously seeking input from the library, not just around the Thesis Fest event, but during the year, because they recognise that we have a lot of experience and feedback from our students as we just go about our day-to-day -day library work. We have, as I mentioned, we've had great support from the Graduate School of Research, not just in, um, in funding, but also with, uh, with support in promoting the event. And also in previous years, they've helped us out with staffing. We know that we're making a difference to our HDR students, and I'll share some feedback with you a bit later. There were some very specific outcomes that have occurred as a result of Thesis Fest. For example, we um, established a library HDR consultative committee. There have been a number of HDR support groups that have been established in the various faculties. Um, in science and engineering, they've uh, started school-based mental health seminars, and the Faculty of Business and Law are looking to build an HDR community of practice. Student feedback has always been very positive, and in the events where they had constructive criticism, we've managed to, um, to deal with that and make our event um, more focused on what they need. One area that we said before was, uh, was of concern was around the student-supervisor relationship. And we're really pleased that as time has gone by, we've received feedback as to how this has improved. For example, one student wrote, to be more appreciative of uh, my supervisors. They are lovely, but sound like superheroes in comparison to others. And this was in response to, to feedback from the end of a, a thesis fest. Another student said, approaching the supervisor, communicating more with the supervisor, take control and be in charge. That's what I've learned from thesis fest. Another student said, when talking with my supervisor, I will use more credible non-verbals because I try to be too approachable and to be more open and talk to my supervisor sooner rather than later. So I hope this, that this indicates that Thesis Fest has had some impact on a supervisor-student relationship because it has been an ongoing issue um, throughout our three-year Thesis Fest event. We find that students are signing up for Thesis Fest the minute we send out a save the date. They recommend attending to their peers, and each year we get feedback that asks that we put it on again. Although some requests for it to be held every two months is not going to happen. <laughs> so, what is the future of Thesis Fest at Curtin? Our reflection process allows us to monitor changes in student needs and respond to the feedback. For example, this year we made Thesis Fest more interactive with reflective sessions and more networking opportunities. We also look at other things we can offer HDR students between now and next year, as we're very much aware that Thesis Fest is just a once a year offering. So what happens to our students for the rest of the year? 
Last year, we ran a follow-up event in December to reconnect the same students with each other again. We want to ensure that we stay relevant and we can do this by continually ref reflecting on the needs and wants of this specific cohort. So thank you everyone for the opportunity to present about Thesis Fest today. Kitty and I are very excited that we were able to share our innovation initiative with you all. Thank you.